people on the search for our, our perfect Ava. Um, a lot of incredible women have been sent over and we are just, we're just going through them. I mean, I'm actually really happy with all the people that have submitted for the role. And so we are looking to see who really embodies this character. And of course, you know, Ava is such a strong character and we need to make sure that um, our uh, actress finds that strength that we need. Um, next question. Uh, uh, when does Gabriel's Redemption start filming? So what we're planning, as I mentioned, we're shooting this man and we'll shoot this man in March, April-ish of next year. I'm hoping to have it finished filming before Passion Con. Otherwise, we'll take a week off during Passion Con and, and continue shooting it afterwards um, because, you know, weather <laughs> and all that stuff. Um, but uh, we, uh, yeah, and then we will shoot Gabriel's Redemption Late summer, fall, I believe. You know, we're locking in some locations. It's very specific, of course, as well. And a lot of people that we have to schedule around. Um, but we're going to, um, we're, we're, you know, we want to make sure it's it's just as perfect um, as all the others have been. And that's what we'll do. So we want to make sure we are giving them, giving redemption the time it needs. Um, and, uh, are we going to do Gabriel's promise? Well, I'm going to ask you to let us get through redemption first. <laughs> so let's get through that. Um, but yes, I mean, it would be a dream to continue the Gabriel series and make them all just keep going. Um, and, uh, I mean, I've just, uh, I have loved working with Sylvan Renard so much. I, I, feel it, it would be very sad to let that relationship end. So hopefully um, we will continue for many years to work together. It's been a really fantastic experience. Um, and of course, Julio and Melanie, who doesn't want them in your life all the time? They're fantastic. Um, all right, next. Uh, if I could play any role in any of the movies I've directed, what role would it be? And my answer is all of them. I'll take them all. I'd love to play any of the roles. Um, because I love all of the characters. Every single one is very special to me and I am thrilled that I get to direct these incredible female characters and, um, you know, and all these emotional experiences that everyone goes through. So I love them. I love them all. I'll, I'll take any and all. <laughs> uh, yes to the Florentine series. That would be awesome. I'll, I'll work on that one. Um, all right. Am I still planning to make a Lisa Renee, jo Renee Jones series? Absolutely. Um, love that series. In fact, we're going to make it as a series and we're looking to shoot that also like mid next year ish. Um, it depends on, um, so many different situations, here, but, uh, the idea is to, um, create it and release it as a series, but it's super, it's super awesome. Um, Oh, when is Crashed coming out, can I say? Well, Hang on, I'm yeah. waiting for Ali to, to tell me the answer on that one. She's going to give me the yeah, thumbs up. Can I? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, uh, actually, Crashed is going to be the premiere that we have at Passion Con. So it will be, come out in May. Um, yes, and it's great, by the way. We just finished episode two. I'm almost finished episode three. Um, editing, not sound or anything. And, um, and it's just so great. I watched episode three today and the conversation between, it's a conversation with Colton and his dad. And I was just crying the whole time. Um, so I'm, I was crying on set, but I'm crying now. So, <laughs> um, but it's, it's very beautiful and I'm very excited to show you Crashed. Uh, it will be done in May. Um, all right, and the next one is, uh, yeah, it's definitely looking to be a busy year next year. So can it tell us everything we plan to film next year? Uh, there's so much. I would have to bring up this whole, we have this calendar. Let me see if I can bring up the calendar. But um, our plan next year is super extreme. Um, we, uh, as I mentioned, we want to make... I want to make, um, if, like maybe we, if we could make 
15 movies next year. That'd be crazy, but um, it would be great. Um, but there's this whole plan that I have. And so um, if we can, let's see what I have, what I have for next year. Um, 2022. So um, I would love to be able to make um, A Man's Promise come away with me, lick Sugar Daddy, this man, obviously, um, uh, Redemption, Beauty from Pain. These are the movies that I'd like to make next year, if we can get it done, something about you. These are all awesome movies that I would love to try and get done next year. Uh, Resisting Roots is happening right now. Um, so we are shooting right now um, Resisting Roots. This is our last week. We finish on Friday. And we will release Resisting Roots in... And I'm going to tell everybody... April. We're going to release it in April. So we have a super busy year the first six months of next year are going to be so incredibly busy with the release almost every month. And so that's super exciting for us because, you know, <laughs> we've never been able to do that before. And we're really trying to keep the energy up and um, keep you guys excited about the platform and keep you coming back. And um, please share, share the love and uh, tell everybody that we're here. Um, uh, and so what else? Uh, do I have any concerns about COVID restrictions on filming and travel in the new year? Yes, I always do. Um, we're doing everything we can to keep everyone safe. And, um, the team that's working right now is just so excellent and taking all the precautions necessary. Um, we have an incredible team and, um, you know, we're following all the science guidelines and, um, making sure that people are, um, you know, taking it seriously. Um, will Liam, Anna, and Andrew be back for Torn? Yes, they will. Um, that's the plan. I haven't heard anything different. So <laughs> they have all committed. Um, and um, what else? What else? Any Passion Con news? Passion Con is going to be super awesome. So awesome. Um, uh, we just did a tour of the um, location. Mm. I feel like it was just recently, like a month ago or something. And um, it was, uh, and it's going to be so much fun. I mean, it, there's literally every single second of the day is going to be busy and awesome. And um, I think somebody asked if there's going to be more tickets available. And you were, we're just discussing that with the hotel right now. Um, we're almost taking the entire hotel. So if uh, we can, we're going to get more tickets. So keep checking passioncon.com. And I think there will be some tickets that become available in the new year. Um, the next question, uh, would you be open to adapting a Spanish series? Absolutely. Yes. Send it over. Feel free to DM us, DM Passion Flicks, and um, suggest any books you'd like us to release uh, or make, especially any Spanish books. We love that. Um, and would we consider adapting a book with same-sex couples? Absolutely. Again, please send over your suggestions. I love that idea. Love is love and we want to be able to show it in every situation possible. Um, and would you consider casting David Gregory in another role? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hell yes, he is amazing and I love him. He's the biggest supporter of Passion Flicks and um, I just, I love him. I love him so much. Um, someone's asking about the Spanish love deception. We love the book. We are speaking with the agent. Um, we have let the author know how much we love it and we would absolutely love to make it. So um, put pressure on them to say yes to us, please. Um, because that's what it comes down to. They have to want to work with us too. And I think at the end of the day, if anybody's going to adapt that book to the way that the book is, um, you know, it's going to be us. We're going to do the best job. Um, all right. And the next one, would Passion Flicks ever get into publishing? Sure. Um, why not? <laughs> we'll try it. Um, I think, uh, 
it's uh, it's a, it's a few it's a few extra jobs on my plate, so I'm not going to do it quite now. <laughs> but maybe in the future, we're focusing on um, music first. We want to get into we want to do a lot of music for um, for all the fans, and because we create so much music, so that's that's the world that we're sticking to first. Um, and then Passion Fix Wine. Mm. By the way, it's really good. It's so good. And um, I'll tell you the story about it. We um, we found this wine while filming Gabriel's Rapture in Italy. So it is an Umbrian wine. It's from a small organic vine- vineyard. Um, it's delicious. It's the it's a vineyard run by the most incredible people, um, and uh, so it's it's literally the wine that is from the vineyard where Gabriel and Julia have their Umbrian villa. So it means a lot to us. It's um, it's so it ha- yeah, it's deep meaning, great people, um, incredible memories, and you guys are gonna love the wine. It should hopefully be out before the end of the year, but right now it's on a ship off the coast of America and hopefully we'll be able to unload it <laughs> at some point um, and get it out to you guys. Um, what else? How am I enjoying life in Georgia? I love Georgia. I love it. Everyone here is so nice. Um, everyone is, um, the, yeah, the people are so nice. The it's so beautiful here. There are so many trees um, and we're having a great time filming. I mean, the infrastructure is fantastic and, um, and um, yeah, the people that we get to work with are, are really wonderful. We've been able to roll over our crews from movie to movie to movie. So a lot of the people that are working on our sets are just, you know, the same people. And it's really nice to have those people join the Passion Flix family and, um, and they've drunk the Kool-Aid and they're on board and it's just really great. So we're loving Georgia. Um, would I ever make a Colleen Hoover movie? Yes! We are all massive fans of Colleen Hoover. Uh, I would love for her, I'd love, 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 love to be able to make any of her books. And we've chatted back and forth a bunch and um, hopefully we'll have that opportunity in the future. But um, by all means, petition her. <laughs> we would love to. Um, and uh, yeah, we love her. And she's so uh, um, supportive and amazing of women and the romance community and people in general. So to be able to work with someone like her is, is um, would be a dream come true. So um, what else? Um, wine wouldn't survive the postage to Australia. <laughs> I don't think I can export wine, unfortunately. Maybe not from here, but maybe from directly from Umbria advice for upcoming directors oh some advice for upcoming directors um just do it go ahead and make a movie um if you can with your phone it's all about story so at the end of the day if you have a really good story um you just have to put that story on screen and just make i would say just um do everything you can to capture the moment that you can um, so what else? Um, will we allow set visits in Italy and different things with uh, filming in Europe? Will we allow set visits in Italy and different things we're shooting in in Europe? Absolutely. Sounds great. Absolutely. You know, we're shooting this man again in April, May. So we want to make sure, uh, as long as it's safe, of course, that people are invited. It's really important for us that we, um, that we have our founding members and our signature members there. It it just um, it enhances the entire filming experience. So, um, what else? Oh, Lauren just joined. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was your reaction when the first time you heard Lou Ferrigno Jr. say "gumdrop"? Well, we all smiled. I was in the room uh, with a bunch of founding members. And uh, it was pretty, it was pretty, um, it was pretty cute. It was, I mean, cute, but in that, you know, that where you just kind of like get a little giddy on the inside. Um, So that was nice. Uh, German subtitles for Hollywood Dirt. Okay, I'll get on that. Thank you. Um, And 
Thank you, Brazil. I love you guys too. Uh, the coffee cup and gasm. Well, that was a surprise to me too. So I guess that's a that's an alley thing. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be it's gonna come out pretty soon. Yes, pre-orders are up right now. Oh, pre-orders are up right now for the M Gasm mug. So um, go ahead and um, uh, <laughs> I mean that's great. The hilarious thing is that you know it's very hard for me to have these mugs in my house because I have kids now who can read. <laughs> and so when they see, um, you know, mugs like our um, angel effer mug and uh, mgasm mugs, it's going to be a lot of, um, uh, yeah, it's a lot of explaining to my kids. <laughs> um, the next movie will be Tangled and will come out at the beginning of next year. And um, what else? I love Julia and Melanie. I love Julia and Melanie too. Um, and I think we're just going to check to see if there are any more questions. Someone asked if they can suggest actors. And I would say DM or... Yeah. Or... If you can suggest actors, absolutely. I love it. I, I, it's, it's, you know, that's one of the reasons why we found Julia Baruti for um, Gabriel's Infernos. Because on my Instagram post, somebody suggested... Julia. And so it will, um, it was a big reason as to why we connected and was really interesting because his agent reached out to our casting director at the same time as I saw that uh, post on my Instagram post. And so, yeah, we definitely read everything and we are excited to check everybody out. Of course, that's as possible. It's very hard for me to get any of the Hemsworths. Just letting you know, it's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, William Levy Anderson Davis, actors, okay? Um, hello, Ukraine. Uh, why did we move to Georgia? Well, we moved to Georgia for a number of reasons. Um, specifically, I was really interested. There, there was a main reason for me, which was I kept finding myself leaving California and coming to the East Coast in order to film. And then I was pulling my kids out of school because I'm not going to be away from them for three months. And so it was really important that we found a place where at the end of the day, I don't have to travel so much for shooting. Um, and the entire Passion Flix team were happy. So they could afford a house. They had good schools near them. We had infrastructure to work with. There was a tax incentive and a high quality of life. And so that's what we ended up doing. Um, and so we moved to Georgia and we have all of those things and you know, people are buying homes and because we can afford them down here and we can't really afford them in California. Um, when will Lick get made by Kylie Scott? Um, as I mentioned earlier, it is my hope that we will be making that next year. And no, we're not in Los Angeles anymore. Um, uh, what was the incentive to move here? Film incentives, so tax incentives. So that really makes a big difference when we are making movies, and especially with the number of movies that we make. It is extremely beneficial to work in a state that encourages film production, and Georgia does that. Um, what else? What else do we have? Let me see if I can come down a bit and see calendars. some... Calendars. We will have calendars in the new year in January. Oh. Ali says we're going to have calendars in the new year. <laughs> I've been like holed up editing. So my day is basically scheduled to be like the first half of the day is editing crashed and the second half of the day is editing um, Rapture. So I'm just like while, you know, visiting a set and, um, you know, planning the year ahead and all that sort of thing. So, uh, so yeah, so there's a lot of things. Um, uh, can you subtitle the oldest quickies? We can try um we would have to pull them down and then subtitle them and then pull them back up but i can certainly look into that um yes it is fabulous the whole team moved we have um one person who's still in california mike carpenter he's our newest employee employee and he's head of music for passion flicks um incredible human absolutely love him it has been such a great addition to um, passion flicks and uh, he will move over in the first half of next year first quarter of next year I think um, so there we go I think I've answered a lot of people as questions here about this man and torn and all those those will 
the shop next year. Um, so what else can I answer? I think that's about it, right? Will there be any new Passion Flicks merchandise? Absolutely, yes, we're working on that. Um, I'm really hoping I can get some chocolates out there. And, you know, uh, you know, we have this um, plan to make Passion Flicks boxes so we could have Create Your Perfect Passionate Evening or um, your emotional support box if you've had that breakup or lost a job or um, need some extra love from your friends. And um, and hopefully we'll be able to include some wine and chocolates and um, all sorts of goodies in those boxes. And so that's going to be fun. That's going to be for the new year. Um, and uh, and that's it. Thank you so much. Yes, Hershey's Kisses. That's a great idea, Diane. Um, bloopers for Rapture. Great. Um, and uh, all these all these great questions. Thank you so much, guys. A Passion Flicks Advent Calendar. That's actually a really good idea. So thank you. I'm going to throw little chocolates in that. And... Um, so thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. That was um, sort of an efficient um, update. And I really appreciate all your time and all your support. And I wish you all the best, best holiday season and the happiest new year. And I look forward to seeing you all then. Cheers. <laughs>